Hey everybody, we got some early morning risk. This is actually probably the earliest I think I've ever recorded one of these games, but I got my first cup of coffee here, so I am good to go. <laughs> Hopefully everything starts off right. Hopefully we're playing with all humans, but my name is Jonathan Schrantz. I'm a grandmaster at the game of Risk Global Domination. We do not, ah, gosh. Bots always ruin everything. Red here is a bot and I am in the first position. How about an alliance from now? Let me think about it, let me think about it. Um, I mean, you know what? I mean, it's Europe and it's easy. The easy play is Europe. Red is going to be doing stuff. I don't know what all the players want, but I know what the bots are going to want. Yellow wants yellow. There's no way you saw this in time. <laughs> I'm taking Europe yellow, okay? I don't know if you had plans for Europe, but guess what? I'm in there. I'm going Europe. And I'm going to try to stay out of everybody's way. I'm hopping in. I'm out everybody's way. This is not an aggressive anti-green move, although I did tramp in your four. I'm trying to let everybody else out. We'll see what happens. I accept yellow's alliance. Okay. A lot happened there. I hate being in the first position, especially when I'm recording videos, because I feel like it's actually very hard <laughs> to come up with some good judgment on the very first turn, especially when you're just waking up. I actually maybe should have kept people in the Ukraine so that green can come down recognizing that green probably wants uh, Africa. But hopefully that's not too big of a deal. I can correct it on the second turn. Um, and hopefully green doesn't get too, too mad. They might be. I don't know. Let's spend the first turn trying to get to know our players. Purple is hitting twice when you see two attacks on the first turn. You generally assume the opponent is lower rated. Red is a bot. So we will see what they do. The bot is going for Australia. Okay, so if yellow thought they were going for Australia, I got some bad news for you. If yellow goes for Australia, they probably just die. Me taking Europe messes with yellow the most, but I think I was actually properly due Europe because I had kind of the most troops in that general area. Black? Wait. This is a bit of a surprise. Black's getting out of green's way. But are they going for, like, Australia? Let's see this fortify. What's Black doing? Not the... Okay, the two comes out. And you've just spread around... You've trapped yellow <laughs> against the bot. I don't understand Black's turn at all. Green goes in Europe. And hopefully is hitting this too. Awesome! So by kind of messing with green, I actually convinced them... To hit a two for me. Now I don't have to worry about that too. And green is out. Uh, now I'm going to get out of the way. Yellow is the only one that offered an alliance. A possible sign that they're a good player by offering alliances pretty early on. I generally wait just a little bit to get kind of a feel for things. But now that I know like kind of what green has done, I'm happy to offer them an alliance. Blank, I've kind of seen what you did. <laughs> Purple. Let's just kind of throw some alliances all around. I want green to feel like we're friendly. So the next friendliest thing that I can do is to get my stack far away from them. I don't know what purple wants. But I'll just, I'll consolidate these two together. So that purple can go around me if they want to, and I can start coming back uh, towards Europe. Let's see what purple does. They want South America, but they're fighting with yellow. <laughs> yellow is in horrendous shape. <laughs> you got somebody contesting you in South America. You got black trapping you in against the bot in Australia. Man, yellow's in bad shape. Okay, purple did want to go that way, so that was good that I kind of got out their way, so purple's able to go presumably towards North America. You're going to have to fight against this bot and black just doing weird stuff. Bot takes Australia. Bot hits a two. And a very sensible fortification by the bot. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Black, I'm very curious. 
Looks like they're going to hit me. Don't like that. I don't I don't like you putting people there. Don't you're going to hit me? Okay. You hit my two? Hmm. Seems unnecessary. But I want to see this fortification. You're you're hunting out. You're hunting for Australia. Black is going to die due to trying to fight the bot for Australia. Yellow is could die. They might not. Yellow, I feel like, might be a good player in a bad position. <laughs> Green is a super fast taker. Wow. It makes sense, because the only one that could really contest them is me. But here's the secret to knowing if you have a friend in Africa. We're about to find out. If they split the following way, if the player with Africa defends all three borders, they've, uh, is this is, nobody else knows this. This is the one secret trick about Africa that nobody knows. If they fortify all of these borders, they are likely to be the kind of player that hits Europe. I don't know why this is. If they just one stack somewhere, they're never going to hit you. If they three stack and defend all the borders, chances are they're going to hit you. I like this by yellow. You're escaping the bot. And I think you should, well, I think you should run up. I think you should run up. <laughs> Try to get out. No, you're staying close. Oh, you're staying close to the battle. So I think, but also usually when this happens, they put about 40% here, 30% here, 30% here. Then they're definitely hitting you. With this configuration, with most of the people in Egypt, anything's possible. It's a wild world. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit the bot. This is the most neutral move I can make. But I'm definitely going to my preferred square, <laughs> which is Ukraine. So I gave Purple a chance to come out if they wanted to. They didn't seem that interested in it. So I got a bunch of troops in my territory. It's not going to be easy to get Europe. But the chance of somebody dying over here is very high. Oh, Purple actually is getting out. It takes a little bit of value in Europe. That's excellent to see. Now for the bot. <laughs> oh, don't hit my five. Not my five. Not my three. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> okay, we lose three to the bot. Okay, good. Our five is safe, thank goodness. <laughs> I guess it's time to get this five out of here. And let's see what Black does. Are you going to go wild? You've made it look like you're going to go for Australia, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, seeing as how Yellow's last move was to position themselves here. You take out the entire bot, Yellow goes next. <laughs> Yellow takes all of Australia, and the only question is, how do I kill Black? It's probably impossible. Black gives up. All right, probably wise, but what the heck is this? A double attack? Okay. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Yellow gets away from the bot. And then gives a couple troops up for free. Man, how do I kill Black? <laughs> Black's going wild. Okay. Green holds all of Africa. And it's, uh-oh, this is the pattern. You got about that 40%. Oh, no, this is like a... This is a not friendly African player. I've already got him pegged. I already got him pegged. And then there's the Africa player that's actually like 777. Seven, seven. If it's all equal, they're probably your friend. If they if they split it 40%, 30%, 30%, they're not your friend. And it doesn't matter if they do it these three borders or they do this with the Middle East border. It's just a pattern. It's just a type of player. That just it seems it seems like nobody's talking about this. I, I want to take all of Europe just so I can demonstrate that green will hit me. But that seems, you know, kind of pointless. <laughs> Let's get green out now. I can test my... This is a big theory that I've been proposing. There's my one phone call for the game. Every game, you got to get one phone call. Okay, purple is going to take South America. 
smacks yellow hard. Okay. All right, all right. We take our all eyes on yellow, all eyes on yellow. Do we have a chance? Okay, and purple is splitting. I do have cards, which would be useful if I wanted to kill somebody. There's a small chance yellow goes here, tries to kill the bot, and then I can easily take out yellow. Bot comes this way. It's now even, does this make it even more likely for yellow to come hit the bot and then die? Only time will tell. Black has decided North America is the place to be. You're fighting an uphill battle against the bot as well. We'll see what Black can do. All right. A nice safe turn. I like it. Green. Let's see what you're up to. Putting a lot of people over there. You're putting a lot of people over there. <laughs> oh, it's the classic split. The optimal split. I don't trust this split as the European player. It's kind of an interesting thing that I don't know how many people, like other Risk players, do this, but you kind of try to analyze, like, what certain, like, people that have Africa in their, like, certain tendencies. Yellow turns in and takes out the bot. The spot is still not worth killing, but yellow gets a continent. All right. Um, in that, like, what's the relationship of a player that takes Africa to Europe, for example? Um, I don't know. I spend a lot of time thinking about these things. And I guess there's somebody that inevitably ends up taking Europe a lot. You know what? Let's just kind of get out the way over here. Let's do nothing. Sorry, I'm offline. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, let's get away from this guy. You know what? We're just getting away from that black bot. Black has botted out. Okay. With four cards. So let's just get away from that bot and let, I don't know, Black hopefully put a bunch of people here and smack everybody else. Uh, it could be that Black had just had enough. They didn't really get a continent. They didn't like the game. But, I mean, it's not worth resigning just because you don't get a continent. You just keep playing. You just keep moving around, taking a card, trying to stay out of people's way. It's not a big deal to not have a continent. There's two bots now in North America. I would not recommend going in there. <laughs> I would recommend staying away from there. Okay. All right. Bot is going big. That 10 might hit the 9. And then someone will be really weak. If this four weren't here, life would be pretty good. I'm keeping this stack open. I have the potential to kill yellow. I have the potential to move into North America. I need to get over to black, who all of a sudden, if black doesn't turn in, we got to get over to black. Black is not turning in. Black has five cards. Uh, green, I don't think can get there. Yellow should be able to easily scoop up five cards. If not, I definitely have an easy path to doing it. But this is huge for yellow. So it turned out that <clears throat> black botting out was a major advantage for yellow, who has kind of annoyingly left four people in my territory. <coughs> the early morning coughs. Sorry about that. Uh, green. Oh, unless you have a turn in. If green has a turn in, they're maybe calculating... Black has 10. I get 10 more. Should definitely try to kill Black. I think you'll get plenty of people. Nope. That's... Why would you put him on that square? Why? That's so menacing. Okay, don't forget to get a card. Oh, it's an equally balanced split. This might be a friendly player. It's a friendly sign. Okay. Kind of surprised that... Well, maybe I'm not, because maybe green is not thinking. I don't know what green's level is, but maybe they're not thinking about killing black. But I certainly, in green shoes, would have considered taking five cards. That's a deal of a lifetime. 
So yellow should definitely kill black. Yellow's not going to kill black? Okay. Amazing. You're kind of getting out of my path. Okay, that was a pretty friendly move. But now I need to run through you, yellow. And I need to go kill black. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to kill yellow. It's close. But I'm going to kill black. I'll shoot you a little heart. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, give me some in Afghanistan, why not? Um, let's see here. All right, and let's let's test our relationship with green. I finish my turn by testing my relationship with green. I trap yellow in there cuz whatever. <laughs> Get trapped, you noob. And then I come back. I could have considered killing yellow, but that's that's fine. That's for another turn. Okay, so purple still has this outside position. Probably justifiably worried about the bot striking. Okay, I think that's a very fair move. Okay, purple gets it. You just take a card. You end your turn. I'm left on 12. It's kind of nice that purple didn't hit me again. Okay. Okay. You're also letting the bot out and into uh, Asia, which is fine. Bot, you've been very rude to me, but you're a bot, so what am I going to do about it? Uh, green. Let's see. A, a full equal split, 13, 13, 13. Green does not hit me. Green is friendly. It's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> Unequal splits with most people here. Pointing at South. Our alliance is over! My theory! But I had a theory. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, okay, maybe the new working theory. Any tri splitter. If you're a tri splitter, you just fight against Europe. It doesn't make any sense for Africa and Europe to fight, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't make sense for anybody to like fight ever <laughs> you should just never like fight anybody ever but it does, specifically doesn't make sense when we share this many borders because if we want to just go crazy we can just we can both just go crazy and wipe each other out it doesn't make any sense green canceled the alliance but didn't hit me you're just like i canceled this but also in the spirit of fairness i give you one turn to figure out how you want to deal with this new information. Thank you, so thank you. All right, I hit the bot. I have to hit a two, it's all right. It's not, it's not a problem to a guy like me. I lose zero troops. Put everybody in Ukraine. And what? <laughs> if you're not gonna, so it doesn't make any sense to cancel the Alliance. Like it just doesn't. If you're like, I'm planning on hitting you in a couple turns, you should leave that as a surprise. <laughs> I, I just, it's, it's a weird action to do. Because I'd be fully justified in smacking green if that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to try to be peaceful, like always. Try not to mess with anybody if I don't have to. But it's just a weird thing to do. <laughs> I guess green's going to hit me next, and then I'm going to have to decide what I want to do. Okay. All right, let's let's go green. Peace is still on the table. Peace is still an option, but it's up to you. I'll let you decide. That's not what I like to see. But it's all right. I've really worked out the strategy for what to do when Africa is attacking you. And maybe we'll get to put that on full display. But maybe not. <laughs> maybe Green's not actually going to fight me. Strange. It's just, it's a strange behavior. All right, yellow? Hmm. Putting a bunch in North America, trying to keep that six stack alive. 
Okay. I think yellow is cool with me, because I could have killed yellow, but didn't. That's just... It's also the chance that 17 smacks into my 9. Ah! Okay, yellow goes all the way around the bend. Okay. Well... Green is not my ally, so I'm going to hit green. <laughs> okay. Not too hard. You'll survive. Purple's got to do something to get a card up here somewhere. Okay. This obviously gives us the power to, whenever we want, eliminate purple from Asia. But I'm not going to ever do that because purple is, is just chilling. Doing fine by me. No reason to make them mad. It really would make them a, a target, though, because they have five cards. But I'll resist the urge to be that evil. Meanwhile, red might be taking North America. And what I need to do now, I think, is actually establish a pretty heavy... Um, I need to put a bunch of people in Iceland. I need a pretty heavy stack here. Much more than purple has here. So when the bot goes nuts and wild, red hits either purple down here for 12 or 13 up here. You know, I need a huge stack on Iceland. So if green doesn't break me, that's going to be my primary focus is just taking a card and stacking everybody in Iceland. Okay, not a welcome sign. Not a welcome sign. <laughs> 28. Okay. 13 hits me, no sweat. Not having an alliance with green just means that we cannot communicate. I just can't tell him. I can't ask him to attack somebody. He can't ask me to attack anybody. But, oh, I thought yellow was going to hit the bot, but no. I don't think anybody's going to hit the bot, because I know I'm not going to. Um, no, <laughs> I refuse. Okay. Now, we need, like, a decent amount. Eh, like, nine. Going over this other way. Okay, and then we're going to keep trying to get Decent amounts over to Iceland. Purple is keeping up this Cold War with green. I haven't figured green out yet. Purple hits red. Okay. I didn't see it coming. But I think it makes sense from purple's point of view. Because if the bot gets big, purple is one of the most likely to eventually get hit. But the other problem now is that this 8, at some point, could get trapped in. But the bot chooses to go down this way, messing with yellow a little bit. All right. I have five cards. Hopefully a good turn in. I do. It was worth the wait. Green to play. Let's see. I would expect you to add here and then take one card. I think green wants to hit me, but is too worried about purple retaliating. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's clearly some tension here. Who? 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 Okay. It was inevitable. <laughs> it was inevitable. Don't act surprised, yellow. When the African player does a, a trifold split defending all the borders, they always hit Europe. That's the working strategy. Another phone call. Okay. They don't hit you too hard. Look at that. I wasn't hit too hard. I'll recover. I'll survive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one time to ignore. And what I'm actually doing is just showing green that I want peace. I'm not. I just, you hit me and I want peace. 
And this is a fine strategy. You don't get mad. You know, they hit you. It's kind of some nasty stuff. It's very easy. You're, I'm a human. You're a human. I get it. It's a, it's a human emotion. You want to smash green. It's, it's not the winning plan. Here's the winning plan. For at least one turn, maybe a couple turns, you just retake. And you're like, just peace. Peace is the option, okay? And you see if green does it again. And they will do it again. And then sometimes you just don't take your continent back. <laughs> you just do nothing. When Africa breaks you, you just do nothing. And it's actually totally fine. It's not going to ruin the balance of the game if I'm not getting these five extra troops. Um, with the way that things are going. So you do nothing. It's the winning plan. The best plan is to always do nothing. Purple! Getting eradicated. And I got another thing. Stop texting me. <laughs> um... The other thing is, what happens if red gets a spot? Uh, red gets North America and gets a bunch of the extra troops. Are they going to hit, like, purple, for example? <clears throat> now, I assume green hits me. You've started a war, so why would you give up? <laughs> to you! What? Hey, I've never seen it like this before. This is actually not going to ruin the balance of the game, but I need, I'm, okay, but it's, no, if you actually hit me, if you actually, you might actually ruin the game. Wait, I literally did nothing, bro. You're also going to hit purple, though? If you hit purple, then the balance is fine. If you use all these on me, <laughs> it is not fine. Tech green. Heart. So that's all my friends. Attack green heart. Let's see if yellow does it. Green didn't like end our games. How's the balance? The balance is fine. Okay, yellow's not gonna help me. That's fine. Yellow wipes out purple to try to force purple to attack green. Incredible. <laughs> I mean. That's incredible. Okay. Here we, we gotta hit green. It's it's the only way. Okay. Just to show, you know, you mess with me, I mess with you. This does unlock the 23, which means my game might be over. But I'm expecting purple to do something. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe this is maybe this was a losing move attacking green. Maybe I could have chilled. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe this 23 smacks me and I die. Huh. Twenty-three smacks me and I die. I have some regrets. I still have a lot more than green, but they're presumably turning in. I have a big turn in as well. Let's see if I survive. Okay. Yeah, not even going for your continent back. You're just, you're, you're full on trying to murder me. It's sad. I didn't, I don't think I did anything. All I did was take Europe, which is not like the most aggressive action in the world. I just took a continent. And now I die for it, huh? <laughs> Gosh. So green is just literally going to wipe me out. What's yellow up to? Um, okay. <laughs> Does green just want Europe? I'm not sure. Okay, here's my attempt at survival. Try to get out of everybody's way. I think green might m murder me and end the game. You just want Europe? I can have Africa? That we'll just have peace? You just need that extra two troops? Is that what's bugging you? Oof, it's a seven. 
Look, if I'm purple, I'm saving every troop I can because blue or green, one of us is about to die. This is a war where one of us is about to die. I would save every troop possible and I'd be looking at which one or both can you kill. One of these guys should be plotting a double kill against green and blue and then, it, and then first striking the other. It's in both directions. Wait, did I have like a bunch of people here? Wait, what did the bot do? Iceland. No, I didn't have a lot of troops there. I got them all out. Oh, whew. mentally, I had like 10 troops there. No, 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 I got them all out. That was only a one. That's no sweat. All right, green. You, how about you just take Europe? If we attack each other, we both die. There's, there's just no doubt about it. You're chasing down my 28 and we both die. No? Oh? It, what? That doesn't make any sense. What is green doing? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, yellow. Sort that out. <laughs> Green's just annoying everybody. He's trying to he's just trying to pester everybody. He was bugging purple for a while, and then he just broke me. Now he's I guess attacking yellow. Yellow could end you right here. Get him. Hit green. End his world. Take him out now. No. Okay. <laughs> Abandon Australia. Give it to green if they want it. That's a fine play. If I take... So this is locked in, at least for now. A lot of people between me and green. But you know what? I go here. I kind of expect green will take. Let me just take like a... I'll take a downgrade. I'll just take... I had Europe. You know what? Africa is fine, too. I'll just take Africa. Green Europe, it's still there for you. Australia is there for you. Uh, half of me feels like a better play might be to just not take a continent, because with green going this wild, safety is an utmost priority. But the 29 is locked out, so green can't really retaliate in a major way. Let's see what purple does. Okay, purple trusts me. But with green on the board, man, you never know. <laughs> green could potentially have a turn in. But purple, even though they did not accept my alliance, is showing incredible trust uh, with that fortification. Okay. Green does nothing. I guess not even taking Australia. You're going to put the 29 somewhere insane, aren't you? Near me. No! No! Not near me enough. Ah, oh, shoot. Actually, if I want to take a card, I necessarily unlock the 29, huh? <laughs> okay. Yellow says, cool. I'm back. I turn in. I need. I want as many troops as possible. I do not believe green will kill me for this. This is the most peaceful option. Yellow says attack purple. I got some beef with green. No. Attack green. Heart. He says thumbs up. Okay. <clears throat> That's not nice. <laughs> I thought we were friends, purple. But honestly, though, purple could be worried about this 29 running in and hitting him. I'm not bothered by it. I think it's fair. I don't, I'm not thinking the purple is going to break me. But anyways, yellow, we had a little bit of communication. There was some stuff on the screen, so maybe you missed it. Yellow said hit purple. I said no, hit green. He's like, okay, cool. As long as we're fighting somebody. All right. Bot will do anything for North America. I'm very far from North America. At least I don't have to worry about the bot. The only thing is green. Green... Ends up with five cards. I kill. Green turns in. I'm in a world of hurt. <gasps> no turn in. No! <laughs> oh, it was a joke. It was all a joke. <laughs> 
All right, I was set up for it. I maybe could have killed green. I should have at least spent a little bit more time calculating it last turn. Because uh, he had four cards. But we'll see what happens. I think he's just going to take Europe and then hopefully chill. Hopefully chill. Hopefully chill. No need, no need for that kind of behavior. There's no need. There's just no need for it. You got the bigger continent. If, look, if that was your goal, good on you. All right. Let's see what yellow does. If yellow attacks green, then I certainly attack a screen. How about an alliance for now? <laughs> He's thinking in his head, like, what do you think? I gave you, like, the classic six-turn warning. <laughs> How could you be mad that I broke your continent? I declined the alliance and then waited the proper amount of turns, and then I hit you. <laughs> Is all green wanted was Europe, huh? We were fighting over a difference of a production level of two. He needs five. I can have three. It's not that big of a deal, man. It's not worth going to war over. Because I am now looking for any opportunity to kill green. <laughs> but more immediately, at some point... This red bot is going to die pretty soon. If there's, if nothing else happens, if stasis is achieved on the board, uh, red bot dies. And when red dot dies, purple might take North America and become overpowered. And then hopefully, people attack purple or some attention goes away from this war between me and green. I don't want to be involved in it. I'm trying to stay out of the wars. Green knows now if they hit me, I hit them. But neither one of us is willing to throw the entire game away and hit the large stacks. I mean, but green is still pretty aggressively, I would say, posted up against me. If we were somehow able to, like, work together, <laughs> I could keep a large stack on the Middle East. And we could, like, work against some of these other players. Yellow grabs a bunch of territories, ends up with 12. Keep hitting green. They might get mad. They might end my game. But it's not really my fault. <laughs> Purple trades in and gets 10. Keeping an eye on how many cards green has at all moments. Don't want green to end up too, too many troops. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, a double attack all the way in. You're not killing red on this turn, though, so it's kind of weird. There's still that 16 there, but purple is set up for a kill on the next turn? Hmm. So if red turns in, I guess that ruins your plan a little bit. Red does not turn in. Purple is going to kill red on the next turn and potentially also take North America. So obviously, green is going to hit me. <laughs> Purple's about to take full control of the game So very clearly Green breaks me Ooh Not enough uh Oh I don't like this If you're only putting three there Wait a minute Here's how it works Green hits red, fails, and then smacks me Oh He won against red <laughs> Which doesn't make sense, because purple's obviously going to kill red. So, you know, just make purple kill one more troop. And do you realize purple's about to have North America? And how do you feel about it? Oof, you protected all your borders, but not this one. Why are you only protecting borders against me? I hit you one time because you hit me like three times. Okay. Leaving 10 in to make it so purple maybe can't get North America. Also, I think yellow strategy is just to grab 
a bunch of territory. It would be nice to have the stack here, huh? <laughs> I just can't trust green. And I don't think I'm going to kill anybody on the next turn. So I leave my stack locked. And I'm just trying to do the same thing over and over and over so people know that I'm not really doing anything. So purple kills red. Well played. And we'll see. I have no... I've done nothing evil to purple. They now have five cards. They've been chilling the whole game, so I don't expect them to mess up the ecosystem too much. Okay. And at least they show that they're not going to try to greedily steal North America. Purple has no real interest in hitting green, which is good. Stop doing three, bro, because one of these threes is going to fail, and then you're going to, like, have to hit me. <laughs> so stop with the threes. At least you have this four here. But something tells me as soon as you fail one of these... I get broken. <laughs> We're back to war. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, good job. He defended the border. B beautiful. Purple will never crack through. <laughs> Not with the two there. All right, yellow. Next to act. Okay. Just turn in every time I can just to stay alive. Sometimes in life, you just got to stay alive. All right. 69. In North Africa, purple. Gets eight more. Presumably just chills with it. Purple is playing very well, somehow. So next game, you know what I actually might do? If I am if I have Europe, but I'm playing against somebody in Africa and they, they do the tri-split, they defend all the borders, I think what I might do is never take Europe. I think that's an interesting way to do it. And then you never get, nobody breaks you because you don't have a continent. And I'm just no carding in a potential future continent. The balance, though, was never really broken. Green could have just ended the game for both of us, and that didn't happen. But if you're playing with somebody that is that aggressive, there's a chance that they just decide to end the game. Okay. Yellow keeps happily adding up there. Hits green instead of purple. Little decisions like this. It's just good to know who is yellow hitting. Are you hitting green or are you hitting purple a little bit more? Um, I have nobody to really hit here but yellow. <laughs> At some point, I got to move this 69 to a more active square. I might do it. As soon as green has, like, the same number as me, I think I'm moving this stack over here. And if green is going to hit me and take Africa, so be it. <clears throat> Let other people take notice of <laughs> what green is doing. Because <coughs> any second now. But it is curious. So in this position... Does the same kind of player that defends all the borders but one excessively heavy, do they also, when they have the stronger continents, do they ever hit the weaker continent? Uh, I don't want to find out. Oh, no, the one time you failed. And now for some reason you don't know that you have a four and can get an easy card, so you're going to smack me. Oh, <laughs> incredible. Actually incredible. No. Now there's only a three here. And then you're going to attack with three here. Fail. Three here. Fail. I, I don't know what else to do. Smack. Blue. All right. So we got to start moving. We got to get on the move. We got to get on the move. <laughs> a 
mysterious four. It'll all make sense in time. All right, dude, I'm out. Now, if your goal was to secretly attack yellow, I don't know what to tell you. I've blocked you in. If your goal is to secretly attack yellow, put the 74 up in Ukraine, okay? If you're going to hit me, hit me. <clears throat> if you break me and do stuff, I guess I just run through and attack you. Although maybe he's over-reliant on the alliance system. We currently have an alliance. You would never betray an alliance, would you? I don't think you're the type. <clears throat> you're, the tr proper form is to break an alliance five turns before you strike. All right, green leaves me alone. <laughs> God, I'm dying today. All right, let's see what yellow does. Yellow could interpret what I'm doing as aggressive towards them. I assure you it's not. It's a countermeasure against green taking Africa, okay? <laughs> it's just, I just don't want, I, don't, I just don't want to die. And I think I might even unlock this 56. Just so that yellow has the option <laughs> to hit green, although I know that they won't. That's just not, that's not what yellow's doing. Yellow's chilling out. Yellow slowly in the lead. Just by being South American turtle, staying out of trouble. Yellow is in the lead. Purple and I, or sorry, yeah, purple and I are in clear last place. Ugh. So I need a couple other people to fight. Yellow was worried about me. Look, I'd be worried too, but I assure you, you're in great hands. We sneakily or not so sneakily open up your 71. I also have been hitting yellow every single turn, but that's only because I don't know who else to hit. Breaking green and fighting him ruins the balance of the game and we both lose, so I cannot attack green. Green should not attack me for the very same reason. And if we can manage peace between the two of us, we wait for purple or yellow to determine the outcome of the game. Yellow was kind of trying to change things in his favor by grabbing as much territory as possible. But I guess that operation kind of ended when I, I actually slowly am taking <laughs> a whole bunch of territory because nobody's taking it back. Green! Ah, completely leaves me alone. Incredible. It's purple. What is green thinking here? <laughs> Keep him up there, dude. Keep him up there. Keep Stay away from me. 74 up on the three. This would be... I always keep everybody in the Ukraine, man. Look, we can, we can cut off the board together. But we got to use teamwork. All right, let's see what yellow does. Yellow might be done in North America. <laughs> Are you going to strategically block your 71 and then bring everybody back and fortify here? I feel like that's the kind of player yellow is. Not ever threatening to attack anybody. Kind of intentionally passive. Missing every chance to kill, but staying completely out of every single person's way. Okay, that's that's who yellow is. And this kind of player is not a threat. They will stay where they are until the end of the game, and they will not try. <laughs> they will not try to kill other players and then beat you in an endgame. They will kind of delay the game, which is not not a fault. Like I'm a very patient, slow player, so it's not a fault or anything. I'm just saying that they're they're not a threat. The person that keeps the 105 stack in there, not a threat. 
But in the unlikely event, so let's say like green gets it on with purple and both of these players get weak, I'm the one that's going to be able to try to perform some sort of double kill and then land a punch on yellow. This is a long way from happening. But you never know. Green gets bored. Smack, smack, smack. Like, I don't know. Green's the wild card. He could just decide I'm, I'm kind of bored <laughs> at the, I don't know, one hour mark, two hour mark. I just, I can't, I don't want to play anymore. And I, I decide to end the game. Two attacks on purple. Let's go. Three attacks on purple. Let's go. That's what we love to see. I think I've, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, green is, green is losing patience very quickly. <laughs> green is 16 years old. He grew up in the TikTok generation, okay? He can't be bothered with all of this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. We send green a little thumbs up, a little heart. Just so he knows, like, you're cool, man. I'm not, I'm not hitting you. I'm not messing with you anymore. We had our little beef that you caused. But, dude, I'm twice your age. I can, I can, I can get over it, okay? <laughs> it's not a problem. All right. Cool. Uh, how do I take... You know what? I keep opening yellow stack. <laughs> I don't think they're going to like it. I don't think they want their stack open. So let me help you out, bro. <laughs> I don't think yellow wants the stack open. Yellow's like, I'm trying to not fight people, man. I don't want to have an opportunity to win the game with a double kill, first strike, triple attack. I just want to, I want to be, I want to be here. <laughs> Let's make yellow a little uncomfy with it. And we've sort of out of necessity only been, oh, attack green as many times, make green mad, rile him up, rile him up, hit his five, Whoop-ow! oh, and then randomly hit yellow, purple's losing their mind, yeah, hit me a little bit, hit all of us, hit everybody, Where, oh, you're gonna hit green, you're gonna hit green, you're gonna hit green, ow, <laughs> let's go, hit him as hard as he can, fortify back, Oh no, I shouldn't have opened yellow. I shouldn't have opened yellow. <laughs> yellow goes before me. Yellow might get a kill. Come on. Why'd you pick this turn to lose your mind? I was, come on, man. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Purple also like pretty passive with it. Purple's also not playing to try to get a potential kill. That 124, it's wide open, baby. Go to murder town. How has yellow stayed out of this? <laughs> Here's the thing about Australia. If the rest of the world is peaceful and cooperates, Australia is in a lot of trouble. Because eventually, all four of these continents gang up on Australia. In a world in which everybody's fighting, it's actually really nice to be Australia. Everybody kind of leaves you alone. You're not... Nobody's worried about Australia. On this map. Yeah, go go ahead. Hit, if you're going to hit the 30, go ahead, break me, bro. If you're going to hit the 30, do it. Oh, oh it's, it's on. It is on. You know? Okay, you know what? Bury the stack. Bury the stack. Yeah. Look, I might not open that up again. Look, I'm not opening that up again, man. You had your... I actually gave you a chance to keep that active. And you... You said no. Okay? Everybody's still really strong. We take a card. We chill. We get five cards next time. Let's check them out. Let's get ready for what's about to happen. We got a good one. All right. How hard? The only question is, how hard are you going to hit green? You're going to hit them real good. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Get him. <laughs> yeah, you, you better break his continent. He's coming. 65 is going here and is going here. Let me just tell you now. Bop, bop. Next turn is the turn I might might be able to kill here. Unless green ends it now. 
They have about our alliance is over. Hey, why don't you just? Here, I got a friendlier way. Why don't you say, hey, I need to attack your territory. I need to attack purple. Heart, 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 heart. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I say yes. Like, look, bro, you're going to go in there and give me the game? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> and you're going to kill all of purple, but not these two. And you're going to feed me only one card. You only have two cards. I mean, come on, guys. Have a few more cards when I kill you here. <laughs> Our alliance is over. <laughs> Why? Why? Hitting my continent to hit another player is not the, not the end of things. Okay. Ah, shoot. Attacking both of these players doesn't give me that many cards. It doesn't give me that big of an advantage over yellow in this end game. But yellow is insanely passive. What I need to do is the three-point end game defense. That is how... I win this game. Yellow, you better get that stack active. <laughs> do you see what's happening here? Do you see what's happening? So what I need to do is take over green and purple. But then if this stack is still stacked here, I want to control Ukraine and Middle East and Kamchatka or Alaska, but Kamchatka. So I want to end up with troops here, here, and here all split up so that yellow cannot get a good card. Yellow, if you know what's good for you, you get the 125 out immediately. <laughs> immediately. If you do not, you do not understand what's happening here. I am going to trade in, and I'm also going to get one more trade in when I kill all of these people. Uh, okay. Yet another text. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Uh, also another unnecessary text. Okay. Let's win the game here, if you don't mind. Hey, if you don't mind, I am going to win this game. You did not get your stack out, so you lose. Here is how it goes down. Now, look. Let me keep 33 here, just for good measure. How do I do this? I go here, here. I don't use this three. Green, you 100% die first if possible. <laughs> Goodbye. Feels good. I have no remorse. I would do it again. Then we do this. And here's a, like a it's a must know end game technique. Um, you know what? I hit you here just for a little bit of a laugh. <laughs> then we leave thirty three here. We leave the one twenty eight here, and we do the three point winning defense. Now yellow can't crack. And we get so many troops. So many troops. All right, now he comes out. And now is able to get an extra 26 whopping trooper ruse. Which should win. Uh, 170 to 140. Eight is very safe. Okay. And man, he's got a lot though. He's got so many. Whatever. Imagine, imagine rolling these manually. Who's got the time for that kind of action? All right. <clears throat> then you figure it out. I got you by forty something troops here. So he's actually going to be able to do quite a lot of damage. <clears throat> he's going to be able to take quite a lot. Ah, okay. But he hits the big stack, which should slow him down quite considerably. I'd probably end up with Australia. Maybe he can get there. He's not going for it. He could have probably gotten to Australia. 
Thanks a couple continents. I do not have any cards. I currently have 25 total territories. I think he realized if he hits here, he unlocks this three, which is probably where I would be placing troops. Uh, we got this beautiful three here. It was all part of the plan. <laughs> all right, we'll just take as many things as we can. He says, well played, good game. Thank you very much, sir. Good game. Th Look, I go here. All right, <clears throat> that might be an indie. <clears throat> he's only got two places, <clears throat> sorry, two cards. So he's not gonna be able to break all of my continents again. I'm gonna have too many continents every single turn. And he's saying good game. I'm gonna send him a little bit of a heart. Uh, Yellow's problem there was just leaving the stack in. It would have been a much harder kill if that stack had been out. Um, so clearly he doesn't know about this three-point endgame. But when you see, like, the two people are attacking each other, get that stack out, because there's about to be, like, a double kill first strike opportunity. So this is an important endgame technique to know. Many people say don't trust that guy's endgame in chess, but hey, in risk, it's a, it's a different story. <laughs> a much stronger endgame player in this game. All right, he just does nothing. You know what, that's probably enough. Look, we have cards, why don't we use them? Give me the rest here. And let's get this going, baby. Yeah, 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 that's good enough. Centralize the map here a little bit. And boom! <laughs> let's see what green was rated. I'm expecting to see beginner. Um, I've won like 10 games in a row or something. I'm on a hot streak right now. I just can't seem to lose. Um, and this was kind of a cool example. There was what to do when like a novice is attacking you. There was a little bit of African strategy, knowing when Africa is going to attack you if the European player. Purple was an expert and yellow was an expert as well. So a couple of good players in the lobby. They played, you know, pretty good compared to some of my recent opponents. And if you do like this, make sure you subscribe. Bye.